Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures, here to do another shave and shave review on... What smells good to me? So what are we going to talk about? So, I came home... Uh, the other night and I went out to the mailbox and I had a surprise. I had no idea this was coming, but you guys know I'm a big fan. I am team wet shaving products. So yes, I got a surprise. So thank you, Mel. Thank you, Lee. Thank you, the wet shaving products family. I got this barbershop, their new mentholated uh, barbershop scent that they made this summer. Um, so I started wet shaving about three years ago. My very first purchase ever was this El Grande safety razor. And I got a brush, which no longer exists because it kind of fell apart after three years and God knows how many shaves. And I bought tobacco shaving soap. And then my next purchase I bought barbershop, but I never purchased a full size barbershop aftershave. I bought a travel size. So I'm super excited and super grateful now that I've got a full size. So we've got 125 grams cooling rustic shaving barbershop, which is their vegan scent. I mean, vegan, vegan, vegan formula. Oh my God, that smells good. I love their barbershop. Um, there are three companies uh, that I think are just the best barbershop. It is wet shaving products, Sterling and Crown. Those are my favorite barbershop scents. So. I am super excited to try this out and I'm glad because I'm getting to the tail end of my original tin that's three years old. So we're gonna be trying this out. We're gonna get our beard nice, happy and ready. Some Crown Supreme Glide. Of course, we're gonna finish it off with the aftershave. And it's the cooling aftershave. So it's got the mentholated in there as well. So little, little tidbit, I'm not a huge mentholated fan, but I'm gonna try this out and I'm super excited. So I just wanted full honesty, full disclosure. Um, I typically do not get mentholated, but we're gonna use this and it's hot outside. So let's get to it. All right, ready? Let's make some, sh actually let's put the brush in some water and let's put some Supreme Glide on. How about that? Cue the music. Two. That's it. That's it. Move. All right. Yeah, with this whole quarantine, uh, I have not stopped working. Uh, I'm supervised a first responding unit, uh, but I'm at home two days, um, so I'm not shaving as much. So this is some growth since my last shave, but I'm going back in the office tomorrow and working the emergency shift, so uh, I gotta shave. So let's make some soap. Cue the music. <laughs> That whipped up super, super easy. And I've got that mentholated smell. So Drew, why don't you like the mentholated? Um, I'm not a super big fan of that super cooling effect. It sometimes makes my eyes water. I bought one by accident once, and it, I guess it was just a bad experience. But so far right now, I'm okay, but I can feel that cooling effect, um, and it's not bothering me, so I'm okay. All right, let's take it for a test spin. Cue music. nothing less than my usual experience with a 
wet shaving products. So, which is easy to load, not thirsty soaps, great cushion, nice slickness. There I got all that. Look at that, man, I could be done, but I'm not. I always do the cleanup. So we're gonna make some more soap. You've got that nice barbershop smell that I really, really enjoy. Um, it's just awesome. The, their fragrance for the barbershop is actually my one of my cologne purchases that is going to be in my near future because I love it that much. All right, let's make some soap. Cue the music. that'll do it. Sorry to take a little edit break there because I put a new Parker blade in and I have a mole that I always nick, especially when you put in a new blade. So, okay. So the mentholation on this is not overly heavy. So actually I was able to say I'm a-okay with it. Um, in all honest opinion, uh, I'm okay with this one. Um, it's not as bad as the other one that I have. I'm gonna use this nick stick real quick. So yeah, I am not a huge fan of mentholated, but I would say on a low, medium, high, I would say this is probably a, a low, maybe medium. I don't know yet, I haven't used the aftershave yet, but as far as the soap, I'm okay. All right, let's use these aftershave tonic. And so they're made to order. So Corey, thanks for making this for me. All right, let's smell it. Okay, so the other barbershop scent that I like from one of the other companies uh, is more powdery. This is not more powdery. This is more like some florals and just that old classic. Oh man, it's super nice. All right, here we go. All right. Again, okay, so this passes the, I'm okay with this mentholated. It's not over the top. Man, does it smell good. You get that nice cooling effect without the stinging of the eyes and that beautiful, beautiful barbershop scent. So, honest opinion, I like it. I like it a lot. Would I probably buy more mentholated? No, because it's just not my preference. But do I like this and why be using it? Hell yeah, I'm going to be using it. I love their barbershop. So, I want to thank Wet Shaving Products again. <laughs> Uh, you got to try it out. So if you're a big fan of barbershop scents, you dealer's choice. You pick they're either mentholated or they're non. This is the cooling barbershop, and this is their vegan formula. Got the matching aftershave. I love wet shaving products. What can I say? What can I say? So make sure you follow them over on uh, Instagram. They're going to be coming out with a, a limited release coming in August. We're in August. What am I talking about? At the, uh, I mean, it's their anniversary month. So they're going to be coming back with Dragon's Blood. Better than their Nick here. So make sure you check that out. And just follow them for all their newest releases. And I know we're going to be heading into fall. They'll be doing their limited releases for fall. Just support them. Good people. Great company. Can't thank them enough. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures. And I will see you again for another fragrance or shave. Take care.